I'm Kate and welcome to this Poundland haul. I hope you're okay. Sending love to everyone. So this is a huge Poundland Christmas haul and I hadn't been to Poundland in such a long time. So it was great to go back there last week and get shopping and look down the Christmas aisle. I went straight there. I was like looking around as I went in, looking at a few things and I was like, Christmas so I just went straight across and found loads of Christmassy decorations and just some beautiful things an item actually that cost me five pounds I didn't know I thought it was a two pounds one but he's very nice he was five pounds I think that's one of the first maybe the second Poundland item I bought for five pounds so loads of things to show you and then it's a very exciting video because it's also a collaboration with another YouTuber who is absolutely lovely she also loves Poundland and you may follow her already or you may be subscribed to her channel if you're not you should go across and say hi to her at the end of this video and subscribe to her too she's called Nikki and her channel is the Nikki touch and we kind of no we haven't met but we met on we've been chatting on YouTube kind of since uh, the beginning of our YouTube journeys and Nikki is another YouTuber who one day I'd absolutely love to meet so maybe one day in the future we can have some kind of a YouTube party. I don't know when that would be. It might not happen, but it would be lovely. And Nikki does all kinds of videos. She does lots of Poundland ones. Sorry, Rufus the dog is snoring his head off. He's sitting next to me. She does lots of Poundland videos, Poundland hauls, because she loves it, like I said. And she does DIYs as well. So she makes some amazing things from wedding items, Christmas DIYs, hampers. She's very crafty and she's lovely. So yeah, make sure you go and watch her video after you've watched this one. And we also, it was her idea actually, Nikki said, should we do a Poundland tablescape so basically a Poundland Christmas table setting using Poundland items so which I thought was a brilliant idea so I went along and tried to find as much as I could I'm going to be using some of my Poundland uh, table things that I bought last year I think so I hope that's okay I'm using Poundland new and Poundland old so yeah after I've shown you the haul we'll then do the table I'll do the tablescape part and um, yeah, then you must go and watch her video. And hi, if you've come over from Nikki's channel, lovely to meet you. Make sure you subscribe as well. And I hope you're okay. Right, shall I get on? Oh no, mug of the day first. I've got to do mug of the day. And then, check there's no lipstick on it. And then I'll get into the haul. I've got loads of stuff. And I can't wait to put this around my house as well at the end. So this mug was from Dunelm. I did a Dunelm, I did a, I did a, I did a, I, did a, I filmed a Dunelm haul on Friday. Was it Friday? No, Wednesday. What day is it? Yeah, Wednesday. That was when it was on. And this was one of the items from the Dunelm Hall that was also in it. And some gorgeous garlands. And I show you my fireplace as well. So if you want to watch that video, I'll link it in the description box just underneath Nikki's, um, you know, the link to Nikki's channel. This says sweater weather and it's just so cute. I've got a coffee in my mug of the day. I'm not going to drink it though because I've got to crack on with the haul. Right, so I'm going to start off with a couple of little decor bits. I bought quite a few of these actually. So let me just... Oh, grab the other ones. I've put them in a bit of a pile, but not very well, so they might all fall down, but hopefully they won't. So these were a pound each, some little, they're called floral decorations. It says five pack. I thought it was three, but obviously there's, oh, there is five of them. So I've got two of those. There might be a, oh no, I've got a few more actually. So two, hang on, what have I got here? Let me just grab these. Don't fall over. Hang on, hang on. I got four of them. So four of these. So I'm going to hopefully put these on our table setting somewhere. And I'm doing a big garland around our front door. And I need some florally bits. And in our garlands around our house. So I just wanted a few more to add here and there. So four of those. They're a pound each. So I'll add them to all my decor in our house. I picked up two. Yeah, there's just two. Two of these holly and berry ones. So these will go in our garlands or on our table setting. I'm not sure. I've got a few ideas for what I'm going to be doing. So hopefully it turns out okay. And yeah, you get five on here as well on each packet. And they were a pound each. And then I've got some suction hook things. So I can put things, you know, on the doors and different places and it won't trash our house. So 20 of those for a pound. I've also got some little simple silver christmas baubles and there's 12 for a pound they're kind of they are small but they're not tiny no they, they are quite tiny actually so some silver ones have got a few mini trees so these will probably go on our mini trees so they were a pound too we've got some of these i think they are well they're for doors it says bell door hanger 
but I thought maybe for a bottle of wine or maybe on the table. I thought I'd get two of them. I love this kind of natural hessian, greeny, Christmassy pine cones and bells. We've actually got two Christmas trees this year, two real Christmas trees. We've got one in our dining room and one in our living room. So I will do, once all the de decorations are finished, I'm gonna do like a, a Christmas decoration tour because I've done it so slowly. I didn't do a video where I, you know, come decorate with me one. I've just, done, I've been doing decorations so slowly and faffy over the last month or so. I don't know how long it's been, but I will, I promise I'll do that video when it's all tidy and everything is up. I'll do a Christmas mini tour of our decorations in our house. Anyway, two of those, so I'll put them somewhere. I think they look lovely and really good for a quid. Let me put those next to you, Rufus. I've got two Hessian sack things sat on my lap. They had quite a few different um, present sack things, but I just, uh, I wanted these because we do have quite a few, but I thought these would be nice for, um, for family, you know, when you put their presents in, you can just take it round in one of these. Really cute jute sack. So it's playing on the back. There's all sorts on here. There's little birds, there's presents, there's some, I thought they were boxing gloves then. Oosh, oosh. But no, they're mittens. Yeah, presents and different things, a star. So really cute. And there's a mug of the day on here. Where did I see that? Oh, there it is. Mug of the day. Yay. So I've actually bought two of these. I don't know if I said that, but two of them. And they were a pound each and they're nice and big as well. Yeah, there we go. Two of those big, lovely jute sacks. Just really simple. Love, I love things like that. So I had to get them. I also bought some of these garland ties. So I thought with our table setting, I might use them somehow. So I've got four packets of them. And I do need these for our garland on our front door, which I'll show as well at some point. Oh, it's on Instagram, actually. So have a look on my house account. I haven't finished it yet, but I've got... I've got it before I fully decorated it. My Instagram house account, Rufus is snoring loudly, is Kate's Homely Home. And I'll link it in the description box along with my normal Instagram account thing. I got four of those and in here you get 10. It just as secures decorations quickly and easily. So 10 garland ties. Should I get one out and show you? I will just quickly. Um, let's go from the top. These are great actually. You can make your own garland up, garland ties. They look quite realistic I could put a few up here maybe um yeah they're great so five packets was it no four of those they will come in handy or oh, they're really sweet i saw these little decorations and i like to buy a few different decorations each year because it's just a nice little memory and i love these little like balloon decorations aren't there so that's an l for lee it's like a little balloon blown up a k for kate obviously kate me and a tea for toby so we'll put those on our tree love those they were a pound each really cute oh i didn't get an r for rufus sorry rufus he doesn't need sleep and he doesn't care oh these are cute these are going to go on my posh tree the white and green tree with a bit of silver um these are little polar bear decorations so you get three for a pound of those ones and i got two packets so i could dot them I could dot them about little polar bears. I think that's so good. Three for a pound. I love pound lamp for things like that. When you just want a few, you know, a few little things. I love these next things. I'm going to show you. They are so cute. These are going to go on my table, escape table setting somehow, somewhere. Love them. I love white. Anything white this Christmas, I just think looks so nice. And it's timeless as well, isn't it? You could probably paint them if you didn't want white, but I want white. So a little penguin, but it was a pound. I got two of them actually. Two pound Rufus. They are looking, I thought they were different, but they're the same. They're the same, they look slightly different, I think. Two penguins. Hello, I'm a penguin. I'm a penguin too. And then I got a polar bear. So these all go on my table somewhere. You can have dinner with us on the table. So three of those, I'll put them there. I've got some of these dehydrated orange slices as well they were a pound each and there is 10 oh they smell really good 10 in here and 10 in here 10 for a pound and i might even use these in the bath because it's quite nice when you chuck them in the bath and i had someone send me some bath orange things and they look really nice so i can always put them in the bath would you put these in the bath or is that weird 
just looks quite pretty and then obviously fish them out so they don't go down the plug hole not that they'd make it but they might try to make a dash for it so a pound each for those lovely orange slices and then i took a bit of a gamble on this because i thought oh well i was by the till i was about to pay and then i thought snow blanket because these things well, icicle blanket i've seen this on ewan's instagram he did a lovely mr carrington a lovely window display with this and then i thought maybe on the table because the table runners were red and i didn't want red i wanted like natural tones white and green um and like sort of brownies like hessian type with my white and my green if you know what i mean all that rhymes and then i thought maybe this down the middle so i got a couple of them i actually got four no i didn't i got three just in case for the tablescape so i just ran back and grabbed it and thought that might look good on a table i don't know it might always got some glitter in it i'll probably go everywhere now so it's just it's like this so it's nice and long Is that, yeah and i thought maybe down the table oh dust flying up not dust glitter one on each side so it's like that i don't know it might look strange do you know what i mean i'll show you when i do the table so one two down the middle yeah fluff on my face um and yeah them so three of those and that all should look lovely if not i can probably put it in a window do something like you and did because that was gorgeous um i've got some napkins for our table and i thought if that doesn't work i could maybe create a table runner out of napkins that might look quite pretty if you know what i mean so we shall see or even play settings i'll have a little play so a pound for those and you get 16 and then i got a gorgeous mug of the day i love this so cute look look how cute that is it's a little penguin it was only a pound he's got little pink cheeks i love the um rufus is really snoring i love the shape of this i think it's so cute it goes in then it pops out at the top and there was a santa as well i didn't get the santa i just wanted the penguin so another mug of the day really cute i'm just gonna put you here don't fall over and then what have i got oh this is cute another little decoration for the posh tree it's a little silver sequin star all the s's so really really nice and then i've got two more little decorations i thought they were just really lovely so this is a green a green like plastic tree with some green things on the inside that move so that one was a pound and a little red heart so that's going to go on the whatever you like tree in our living room all different colors and all all the lovely like ones that toby made in school and decorations from when i was younger they're on that tree i did show it the other day actually in the little hall from friday so if you want to watch that video after you've watched nikki's one um it'll be linked in the description box so you can see our christmas tree there and some of my um oh my a decoration from my childhood that my mum made so that was cute so yeah if you want to have watched that video you're more than welcome a little heart with again the little stuff in little um whatever they're called like those i like well, i love them just like them a couple these aren't christmasy but i want to use them so i'll just quickly show you some fire lighters 64 fire lighters these are really good if you have a fire like an open fire we've got a log burner um, and an open fire but we haven't used that in ages these are brilliant they're non-smoking non-pollutive odorless and 100 percent natural and you only need like a couple of cubes to get loads in here so they're such good value for money i love those always buy them and then a couple more things before i show you my five pound item they're really cute actually is lovely so some what are these called sticky labels so when i wrap presents i've wrapped a few already actually i can just pop these on and then write people's names on that's nice and quick and easy to do and there is a hundred which is really good that should last me i've still got a few left i've been using the ones from poundland last year and a tree topper so this is for the posh tree it's a white tree topper star and it was only a pound and i was it's a, uh, what it's exactly what i was looking for so i was very happy to find that because our other tree toppers didn't fit i bought one from dunelm and it sort of looked all funny and didn't fit so that'll go on a different tree and the poundland one will probably make it to the posh tree so i think that's really nice oh sorry there you go tree topper it's kind of like an icicle isn't it and a star really cute and then my final item is 
This, he's not a nutcracker, is he? Oh, he is. He's a wooden nutcracker. Is he a squirrel or is he a bear? I know you're a nut, I know you, I know you're a nutcracker. Oh, he's got a thing here that moves, but I don't think it does. I'm moving his, the thing, but it doesn't move. So I don't know if he's broken or if he's, are you meant to do something? I don't know. Is he meant to do something? Let me know in the comments because I don't think he is. I, lo I love, I love you anyway. I love you anyway. So I'll put him somewhere in our house as well. He'll probably go in the blue living room with all the bright stuff. And that is everything I've got to show you in the hall. I'm now going to go downstairs and decorate our table and do the Poundland tablescape. I'm just about to start the table decorations. I'm not sure what to do. So I've just plonked everything on the table and I'm going to hopefully work something out. This is the table runner that I bought last year. So I've got two of them. So I might use those as well. They were from Poundland. They were a pound each. And I'm just going to start moving things around. And I might try and make a little garland out of these. So I just thought I'd show you the process. I've just put two of the icicle blankets down and then added the blue runner. But um, I've got a bit of a problem because I've only got three of these blankets. So I don't know. Oh, it's a shame, isn't it? Because that looks really nice, I think. I might have to cut it in half, this one, and then just make them more central to the table. So I think that's what I'm going to try and do. But I love the colours because we've got blue, navy blue chairs. And I think that looks really nice. I like that. So I'm going to carry on faffing about and hopefully come up with something lovely. I've chopped one of the icicle blankets in half and put it along the table. So I'm just making it up as I go. So I think I'm gonna use these napkins as a place setting, a placemat, but they could be fabric. You wouldn't necessarily know, would you? Bestie's climbing all over the chair. Hello, Bestie. Bestie. I've got some baubles there to put up on our other tree. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on with this, but I quite like the look of that. And then I need to add or make some kind of a garland. I think that's working, it looks quite sweet. And I'm making up four places for this table display, tablescape. It's just easier to do four. And I'm gonna be using, I think, these um, LED candles that I got from Poundland in a previous haul. And they, the batteries are included, so I'll probably plonk those along the table runner as well. And I've used two packets of these garland ties to make some kind of a garland that is down the middle. So I've just twisted them together. I was going to make two garlands, but I think one will do just down the middle. Oh, hi, bestie. I've just cut one of the garland ties in half and put it round the knife and fork. So it's on top of the napkin. And I've just added one of the ivy and pine cone and berries, little sprigs to the knife and fork. And I think it looks so sweet. I love that. So I'm going to do that to all four four of the plates and I'm now using the bell door hangers in the middle on around the candle and I'm just going to put the other one the other side and um bestie he keeps trying to trash everything bestie what are you doing I'm trying to do this poundland table setting and you're here because he's like what's going on can you not trash this just wait till I'm finished is that okay oh no <laughs> uh oh oh and i'm adding these along the garland so i'm just going to add them all along and build that up as well i think that as a centerpiece is really cute it's actually really fun just making it up as you go along because you just i've got no plan i'm just adding things and yeah i think you get some good ideas when you do this so i really enjoyed this thank you nikki for suggesting doing the tablescape. It's such a good idea. And I've just finished the garland or the makeshift garland and I've had to move the polar bear. He's over there. So he's on top of the mantelpiece because there wasn't any room for him, I'm afraid. Maybe he can join another day. So I think that looks really lovely. And now I'm just folding up the napkins into quarters and putting them under a wine glass. And then I'm going to add maybe one of the garland ties to the bottom of the wine glass. So I'll try that. And then the last thing I'm gonna do is sprinkle some of the orange slices along the table runner. And just in case you were wondering, I've got some new plates and new glasses and they're from Dunelm. And I did put on a Dunelm haul on 
Wednesday. So if you want to watch that, I'll link it in the description box. But they were really reasonable. I think they were £3.50 for the plates and £3.25 for these like goblet wine glasses. Right, I'm going to quickly finish this bit and then show you the final look. And I have just finished. So here is my Poundland tablescape table setting. And I love it. I can't believe how many things you can do with a napkin. I never would have thought of that before today, to put them underneath as a placemat, as a coaster, and as an actual napkin. I think it looks really cute. Really lovely. I think it would look really nice as well if it didn't have the blue, but because I had it there and it matches the dining chairs, I thought I would, um, I would add it. Oh, it's lovely. I'm so pleased with it. This looks cute. I know this might be a little bit over the top, but it is Christmas. So that's a nice little, I just thought of it and thought that would look quite pretty. And I put some cable ties around the lights as well, around the LED candles, just to make them look a bit, um, I don't know, a bit more Christmassy, I suppose. And the orange, the um, dehydrated oranges smell really nice. So just in case you were wondering, they smell lovely. And I wrapped some garland ties around the little penguins as well. And this candle here, that just needs to go a little bit, oh, a little bit further down. So that is, oh, just gonna move some, there's little bits of things everywhere now. So this is my finished tablescape. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Hope it gave you some inspiration that you can, you know, create something like this for next to nothing. So it probably, I don't know, maybe it cost £10 in total. And that's my Christmas tree over there. The baubles, I actually got these from Poundland in the sale. Um, they were a pound for 25 and there's all different, like sparkly white ones and silver. And these ones, I love that one. I genuinely really love this table setting. I think it's just, I don't know, just so cute and put together. You don't always need an idea, just start and just carry on. And before you know it, you've created something um so yeah i can't wait to see nikki's table i think will be quite different in style i've got a feeling she might be a bit more blingy than me i bet hers is going to be lovely so i can't wait to watch nikki's and i hope you enjoyed looking at my little poundland christmas table so i hope you enjoyed it if you did give the video a like and make sure you subscribe and i will be back on wednesday at two o'clock with another video and if you are from nikki's channel a big warm welcome and hello and if you subscribe that would be lovely and if you haven't watched nikki's video yet make sure you head over to her channel subscribe to her she's just so lovely you'll see when you go over there that's if you're not already subscribed to her which you might be anyway but if not all her details will be linked in the description box and make sure you say hello to her from me as well and hi Nikki if you're watching thanks for doing this collab and I can't wait to see your Poundland tablescape thanks again for watching and I will speak to you soon enjoy the rest of your Sunday and I will see you on Wednesday at two take care bye